Last time we built this 32 bed adder and it worked well, but it did take a while to walk through. So we'd rather not go through that whole process again if we don't have to. So let's consider for a moment what subtraction is. What do I want to do if I want to calculate, say, A minus B? Is there some other way I can express this which is logically equivalent to A minus P, but which might just, say, use my addition hardware instead? Well, I could potentially do A plus negative B. Then I'd be doing an addition operation, and I already have the hardware for addition, but I'd need this negative B thing. How would I get a negative B then? Well, since we're representing all of our numbers in 32 bits using the two's complement format, all we have to do is apply the two's complement operation to our input, and then we'd have a negative B. So our two's complement operation says flip all of the bits and add one. So we want to do negative B, so we'd have to find all of these Bs, invert them, and then we need to add one more to this thing. So I'm going to extend this a little bit. I need a way to pass it in, say, negative B. The way I can do that is by adding in a NOT gate, but since I'd rather not waste the gates and produce, say, two different adders, one which does addition, the other does subtraction, and then choose the results of them, I'm actually going to choose whether I do addition or subtraction just by choosing whether I pass in B or negative B. So I'm going to add in some multiplexers. Then on one of these sides I'll want B, on the other side I will have a not B. So I'll just put a not gate in front of all of the one labeled 1. So now I have a set of multiplexers which will allow me to choose between, say, B and not B. And I'm going to want all of those conditioned on the same selector bit. I will name this one B invert because it inverts B. And I will just connect it to all of the various B multiplexers that we've got there. So if I set B invert to zero, then we just pass B through and we get our addition as normal. But if I want to do subtraction, then I'd invert B, so I'd set the B invert line to one, then it would select all of those not Bs, but then I also need to add in one. So I flip all the bits in B, and then I have this carry in line, so I'd set that to one. Now I'd be adding one more, so I'd invert all of my bits and add one. So I'd get the two's complement of B. So now I'd have negative B, and I can just do my addition as normal. So internally, we're still just doing the same one bit addition we did before. So everything else is going to stay the same. We're still using our one bit adders. They're still all connected the same way as they were before. But now we can choose whether we want to do addition or subtraction, thanks to these handful of multiplexers.